Hello guys, this is JNM with a tutorial for getting you started with Marvelous Designer. As always, I will use a simple example to show you the basic features of the software. In this one, we will create a shirt for a male character. I opened Marvelous Designer, this is version 6.5, with a new empty project. In the panel on the left side, I selected the top avatar and loaded a male character. You could choose a different one by dragging it into the scene. On the left side you see the 3D view and on the right side the 2D pattern window where you can create your garments. The 3D view can be rotated by holding the right mouse button down and dragging the mouse. When holding the middle mouse button you can pan the view and zooming can be done by using the scroll wheel of the mouse. The same can be done in the 2D pattern window with the exception of rotating because it is just a 2D silhouette of the 3D model. So let's have a look at the user interface of the 2D pattern window. We have a couple of editing options here that we will use later on. But for creating our shirt we need to add 2D shapes and I will use the polygon tool for this. So select this icon here or press the H key and then we can add points by clicking with the left mouse button. Here you can see that the cursor automatically snaps to the line in the middle which is really useful. You could also hold the shift key down to get snapping axis in 45 degree angles. And each time you click the points get connected by lines and this is the way we create the front view of our shirt. So that's really straightforward, just click add new points and new lines till you have the shape of a shirt and the polygon lines are closed. Ok, and once you have this, you can see that the polygon is filled with the default fabric. You can always change the points and lines you added, for example by using the Edit Pattern tool. Here I select a point and change its location. Now with this Edit Pattern tool selected, I right click onto the line in the middle and choose Unfold from the context menu. And here you can see what happened, it is really unfolded to the opposite side. And we have the complete shape of the shirt's front side. You can see on the left side that the garment is synchronized to the 3D view and each time I change the pattern, like here, the 3D view is updated. Ok, what I'm going to do now is creating the back side of the shirt. So I switch to the transform tool, select the whole shirt and then I go to Edit, Copy and then Edit, Paste. Of course you can also use the shortcuts Ctrl C and Ctrl V. Now the front view is copied and when you move the mouse you can see that snapping guides appear so that you can snap the copied pattern to the Y axis of the original. Once you click it is copied and also synchronized in the 3D view. What I would like to change for the pattern of the backside is the neck area. I want to add a curve here. So I delete this point, just right click and choose delete point. Then I select the edit curve tool. You can also press the C key. And then I just drag with the mouse to add this curve. Very simple. Great, now that we have this shape, I'm switching to the 3D view. And use the gizmo to move the backside of the shirt to the backside of the character and align it visually to the front side of the shirt. Ok, nice, but the problem is that the inside is pointing outwards, so we have to flip the garment part horizontally. To flip it, select Edit, Context Menu, 3D Garment, Flip Horizontally. As a shortcut, you could use Ctrl G. Ok, the next step is adding the sewing for the garment. Therefore, select the tool segment sewing and click the segments that should be joined. Be careful that the lines for the segments you want to join are not crossed. You can see an indicator when hovering over a segment, either in the upper area or the lower area of the segment, and the selected indicators of the segments you want to join have to match. At least in most cases, you don't want to have crossed lines for your sewings. In the 3D view, you can also check if the sewings for the segments match. Now we'll continue this process for all the segments that I want to join. Ok, we're done. 
Now comes my favorite part and this is simulating. Just press this little arrow button in the upper left hand corner of the toolbar and your character will actually be dressed. While simulating, you can adjust the garment to the body of the character. Alright, we can still make adjustments in the 2D pattern window. For example, select the lines at the bottom with the Edit Pattern tool selected. For example, to shorten the shirt and you can see that the changes are automatically updated in the 3D view. Now, once you're happy with the shape of your garment, you could just select it and choose File, Export and export it for example as OBJ or FBX and use it in an application of your choice like Blender or Maya. Now you could also go ahead and select your fabric to change the color or the texture but this will be covered in one of the next tutorials about Marvelous Designer. Ok guys, that's it for the getting started tutorial with Marvelous Designer. I hope you like it and if you like my channel then don't forget to subscribe and be sure to click this little bell icon below to be notified when new tutorials are online. Thanks a lot for watching this and come back soon to JNM.